Good morning, guys. Welcome to another musky hunt here in August. Favorite time of year. Love it. Uh, love fishing up here in the Northwoods this time of year. Uh, the temperatures got down to 47, 46 uh, last night. So uh, going to be some cool water temps, which is perfect. This is what you want. Uh, this is what's going to make those uh, big fish slide shallow. So I'm pumped. Um, should be a good top water morning. And we'll see, we'll go from there. I'm uh, meeting Michael and uh, hopefully we can stick a big muskie this morning. Uh, not gonna be out all day, but uh, hopefully we can make it, make it count uh, this morning. So we'll see, uh, it should be a good good little day. Um, I don't know, I'm pumped. Muskies seem to be doing things right now. So uh, it's just a matter of catching one. Oh, here you go. He's, oh, oh, she's got it, she's got it. She just grabbed it, she just grabbed it. She just grabbed it. Mike, this is you, Mike, this is you. Yeah, yeah. She just grabbed it. I don't know if you saw this. She's going under the boat. It's going like this. All right, folks. We just got on the spot, we marked it on side imaging, dropped the pike down, and it bit. We gotta land this fish. Boat is in a mess. Ready? Yep. Got her. Ready? Oh, yes! <laughs> My that's first fish on a pike. That's awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Yo, is I big. know it's a it's a it's a nice fish. I think she's long. <laughs> wow, dude, that's a freaking nice one. You pull up to it. And be, oh, is that a musky? Is that a musky? Oh, <laughs> <gunk>. <laughs> that's so sick. All right, we'll get working on her. So we just uh, we caught a pike over at a different area and we ran that same pike over another fish and didn't have any luck. But So we came to a new spot where we've been marking some fish lately. Robbie dropped that pike off of the starboard side of the boat and all of a sudden I looked down at my locator and I was like, oh, is that the pike or is that a muskie? And then all of a sudden we saw a much smaller shadow when the pike finally showed up on side imaging and we were like, holy cow, that's a muskie. And Dude, she ate it instantly. It was, <laughs> it was so cool. I saw the tail and going under the boat. I'm like, oh First boy. pike muskie, we treated that thing just like we would in the fall, especially even faster. Because remember, their metabolism's up a lot faster right now. So they're they're going to turn that thing and eat it quick. So don't screw around in your hook sets. <sighs> so sick. All right. Still got the pikey in there? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy here. <laughs> I thought maybe he was a little big when we first caught him. But I said bait, so we had to treat him as bait. And that's the, that's our little fella right there. You can see, dude, just <laughs> right there on the belly. He had this thing down its mouth too. I mean, we had our, we watched this thing come right out of its mouth. So, pike, <laughs> about 23 inches. 23 yep. inches. <laughs> Almost that's... a two foot animal. <laughs> <laughs> that's All so right. cool. Put, put this back thing in. back in there. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Maybe we can eat them. <laughs> now let's see what the, the animal that ate this thing. This thing is a wide freaking fish, dude. Oh, uh, I think oh. it's bigger than what we thought. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yep. Oh yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. What an old fish. Man, she is just, she's got some weird, weird stuff on her. She isn't that long. No. She's just really, really fat. <laughs> and let's just take a peek here quick. Oh, 
Oh. Good. We got that out of the way. She shouldn't do that anymore. Wow. Yeah, right where we thought. 44. Yep. Yeah, what a cool animal. <laughs> All right. Let's put this thing back here quick. Water temps are in the low 70s right now. We're experiencing some cold fronts at night. These fish are coming up shallow. So. And they're eating. Favorite they time of pike. year, Mike. She goes. Yeah, dude, she kicked off strong. Nice. Ooh, Good start man. to the morning. <laughs> Heck yeah. So cool, man. Smells like muskies, big fatties. That was an old fish. You just, I she was, was really beat up. Yeah, or a male, but <laughs> it was healthy. I felt fish in her gut there, or his gut, whatever. We didn't, we should start checking yeah. these <laughs> things for years, but whatever. Nice fish to start off the morning. Ooh. Yeah, nice job. That's a little musky? Yeah, a little musky. <laughs> Do we want everyone a netter? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just marked that fish outside of Just pounded that A little that technical base. error on my part with the net, but uh, it wasn't a big fish, Mike. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> Sweet, two musky day. Awesome. Be nice girl. We're just gonna pull this one up real quick. Nice healthy little guy. Number two for the day. About, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes after we caught that last one. But yeah, let's put this little guy back. Nice bright nice, blue bird morning, Mike. Heck yeah. <laughs> what time is it, Mike? 9.31. 9.31 is the time. We got two muskies in the boat. Very cool. Um, Mike just got that one on rubber. And uh, I'm gonna go with a navin, hit some weeds. Uh, these fish have uh, definitely have finally shown up. It is cool. For now anyways, it looks like next week it's uh, getting warm again. But uh, yeah, had a nice cool night, which so flipping cool it's almost fall favorite time of year is here another big one would be good we got to pop a four footer this morning maybe they'll bite when it's a little bit warmer the real big one there you go no oh, oh yes <laughs> he even had a trampoline to land on. <laughs> this one's small. This ain't the 23 incher, but uh, it is bait. Should we save it for the next spot? Yeah, let's wait to mark one and then. Uh, <sighs> we're getting close to our limit there, Mike. Uh, we only want to keep eight more. <laughs> only eight more to go. <laughs> So sweet. Yes, we got more bait. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you're a musky eater. And that's just how it has to happen. I am using a Z leader, 14 to 18 inch. That's just so terrifying. Be careful if you guys ever do this. It is terrifying. Pike and uh, suckers are completely different animals. Pop it over the top right there. Then I got my line. And oh my gosh, this guy is putting up a fight here. Just stop. This one is one of the smallest pipes I have rigged up. All right, I'll take this back one. All right, she's good. Whew. I'm just gonna go over here, Mike. You should get a follow right now, man. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Nice. Oh, nice fish. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Right where I said she was gonna be too, dude. Gosh, she was hooked freaking funny, man. How did she get curled up like that? Yeah, skills on that. Ah. Dang it. Wow. Well, that was a big one. That was a big fish. That was a four footer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How does that happen? Ah. She was right where she was supposed to be. Mike was like, yeah, no, this is this might be a good spot. Really never fished it and wind's coming in here nice, nice wind blowing, little bay here. And wow. That was an animal. That was one of the biggest fish. That thing that it had one of those humpy things on its head where it makes it look extra big. Man, I'm so bummed. So I would sick. Feel all, way more bummed if we didn't put a fish in the boat or two. Right? Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's sick. What color is that? There. Well, Mike's ripping this Medusa here. And it's just a yellow black kind of natural looking bait. Well, I don't know if that's yellow is natural, but it seems to be a thing in the Northwoods people like to use. And we started doing it. And then I guess, gosh, that was a nice fish. Ugh. Alrighty folks, it is moon. Michael had to go to work and I am solo in uh, Mike's boat at the moment. I don't mind that. I uh, got a 51 incher in Mike's boat last year, so by myself. So it's all good. Wish I had another guy throwing lures with me, but uh, it's all right. Kind of got the program down. Um, rubber, rubber has been uh, the two bites on baits. Um, I'm throwing a, a black penny Chaos Tackle, Medusa, this is the regular size. Um, yeah, kind of been the program, just ripping it through the weeds. Terrible, terrible feeling on the body. But uh, if that's what you gotta do to catch a musket, it's just uh, how it is, because I, it seems to be the program. I got a wonderful pike out. I got this big wind just coming up right now right at moon like it's supposed to and uh yeah hopefully one more musky i gotta get off the water round three so i got about i don't know four more hours left of casting so should be able to get something done they shouldn't just turn off but <laughs> they are musky so you just never know we're ripping rubber 500 tranks cast tackle salt stick uh 2020 uh shock and awe just the most incredible rip and rubber combo there is. It's light. The rod's light. I mean, the tranks, it's, it's a beast, but if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm just a little weakling, so it is the most durable reel out there. And uh, for this kind of fishing, where it just beats up on your gear so bad, uh, you just got to have it. I mean, it's... Instead of burning through reels every month, if you're doing this a lot, just get the 500 tranks and you'll be set for a lot of years. I'm out on big musky. Well guys, it looks like when uh, Michael left, the muskies left because uh, I did not get any more action when I was uh, by myself. Fished through moon, fished a few hours after that and uh, did not see another muskie. So that's how it goes. Um, glad we went out when we did. Uh, super cool nights in August can be very productive and uh, that's what we had. Oh my gosh. Finally, Michael and I were like, yeah, this, this should be a good weather day. Sure enough, it was uh, 44 inch in the boat. I mean, what more can you ask for? Had a shot at a legit, you know, 30 pound animal. That thing was big. I mean, without a doubt, I, I would say four foot or, or better. I don't know. Just didn't get hooked right on Medusa. I don't know. I don't really know where it was hooked, but um, it wasn't in the mouth. And I'm sure that fish came up to the bait. Mike did a, a rip and you know, just so how it, it's just how it happens on rubber. A lot of times they'll try going for the bait and you'll hook them somewhere else. And uh, unfortunately that would have uh, been 
the biggest fish of the season, but just didn't happen. But super cool though. I mean, it, it's big fish time coming up here in August and September. But yeah, guys, I gotta get off the lake here and uh, help the boys out at Garmish, bust some tables and uh, clean some bar glasses. That's what uh, my afternoon looks like. So that's all right. We stuck an awesome, awesome fish this morning. Super cool. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button. Um, man, I just hope these fish keep getting bigger and bigger. We'll see. I'm confident with this uh, coming up weather here that uh, things should be, should be rolling up here in the Northwoods. So I'm super pumped. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next video.